Scott, and welcome to our second Master Series quarterfinal. As our top champions battle it out to become our Letters and Numbers Masters Grand Champion. So, grab a pen and paper, and perhaps some champagne and caviar, as we toast two more of our top challenges tonight. We will meet them very shortly. But first, enjoying every thrill alongside you are our praiseworthy appraisers, Lily Fenner. Hi, and David Essel. Thank you. Now, Lily, we had fun last night. It was uh, it was pretty amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was fantastic, and I think Toby really showed his strength with the maths um, and choosing all, all sorts of adventurous number selections. So it was a great game. And uh, David, well, of course, Lily's just mentioning uh, the maths was a big part of last night, but the words were pretty exciting. They were crucial, and in fact, the conundrum needed getting, and Toby was good enough to get it. A great game, and I'm sure tonight will be no different. It was ultimately the decider, but it was a very exciting game. Right. Welcome, David. Welcome, Lily. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's meet our Masters quarterfinalist for tonight. Starting with Series 4 Grand Final Champion, Sam Gaffney. Welcome back, Sam. Hi, Richard. Now, of course, Series 4 was our, our most recent final. Have you kind of calmed down from that? Of course, it was a while ago, but... Uh... Uh, no, I haven't calmed down at all. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, all, all three of my games were, were very hard fought. Um, so, have you been recognised in the street yet as a uh, recent Grand Final Champion? Sometimes it'll just be hundreds of people lined up outside the house. <laughs> <laughs> we want to see the photographic evidence, I think. <laughs> Welcome back, Sam. Great to have you. And challenging Sam tonight is Series 3 Grand Final runner-up, Jeremy Shifton. Welcome back, Jeremy. Thanks, Richard. Lovely to see you again. Now, since you were here in the studio in that spectacular Grand Final, you've done something academically very important. Yeah, that's right. I actually uh, graduated from my degree, which was... Um Pretty exciting and a big relief after quite a few years of kind of getting through. But and, and what was the degree in? So I came out with actually an arts degree, uh, a linguistics major, in fact. Linguistics major, David. Look, smile all over your face for that one. Bonus point. <laughs> <laughs> we can't guarantee that that will apply during the contest, but uh, great to have you back, Jeremy. Great, thank you. So please, welcome them both, our Masters quarter finalists for tonight, Sam Gaffney and Jeremy Shifter. <laughs> Gold medal grammar straight away with our first letters of the night. And uh, Sam, you to choose. Could I please have a vowel? Sure. Let's start with E. And another vowel, please. A. And could you please give me a third vowel? I. And how about a consonant now? D. And another one? L. And another one? C. Could I please have another consonant? N. And another consonant? N. And how about another consonant? And to finish, S. First talk for the night. First letters, how did you go? Seven. Seven for you, Jeremy? Seven as well. Let's start with yours, please, Jeremy. I had candles. And yours, Sam? I also had candles. <laughs> well, if you could uh, just verify you've got the same word. I've been talking about not being able to hold a candle <laughs> to each other. They certainly can, though. But... Yeah, a strong start. Um, a word close to Lily's heart, and it's an eight letter word is decimals. Very nice indeed. Well found, David, but very strong start for Sam and Jeremy, seven each. Before we go on to the next uh, letters, Jeremy, music, that was the other great thing that you were very much involved with. Are you still recording and playing dub reggae? Yep, still doing that. So going strong. Good to hear. Let's get these letters underway, though. Can I start with a consonant, please? Sure. Let's start with L. And a vowel? O. And a consonant? B. And a vowel? E. And a consonant? T. And a vowel? A. And another consonant. G. And then a vowel. U. Um, and then I'll finish with the consonant, thank you. And last letter, R. And I'll start the clock.
you find in that lot, Jeremy? I have a six, Sam. Also a six. Let's start with yours, Sam. Goblet. And yours, Jeremy? I also have goblet. <laughs> Once again, would you verify clinking glasses? <laughs> We're in for some trouble here with uh, such evenly matched uh, players. Goblet is good. Trouble is also there, as is outrage. Very nice. Not strongly expressed, though. I'm, no. I'm pleased to hear. <laughs> Six each, Sam and Jeremy. I think it's time to have some fun with the numbers now, where, uh, of course, our contestants try to get as close to that randomly generated target number as they can. And, uh, Sam, go for your favourite combination, please. Uh, Jeremy was talking before he hates one large, five small, but... It being the masters, I thought we need a nice challenging mix, so why don't we try four large, two small? Four large and two small. How did I guess you're going to do that, Sam? <laughs> and our numbers six, six, and four large, 75, 50, 25, and 100. The target to reach is 849. We're on to it. Sam, you went for a heavyweight. How did you go? I couldn't get past 850. So you're one off the target. Pretty good going. What about you, Jeremy? I'm also 850. 850? <laughs> we should almost have predicted that with the amount of similarity there's been so far. Sam, tell us what you did. 100 plus 50, Lily, is 150. 100 plus 50 is 150. Times 6 is 900. Times 6 is 900. Then if you subtract 75 and add 25, you get 850. Is 850. So that's uh, just one away. Now, Jeremy, did you do things the same way? No, differently, actually. Okay, tell us what you did. So I've done 6 plus 6 is 12. 6 times, plus, plus 6 is 12? Yeah, times 75 for 900. 5 to 75 is 900. And then subtracted 50. Minus the 50 is 850. So, Lily, both of them ended up at 850, one off 849. Was it hard to get to? Look, there were a couple of ways uh, of getting 850, but I couldn't get 849. Maybe I'll think about it over the break and, and get back to you. Mm, OK, so it is a tough one. But Sam and Jeremy both did well to get just one away, so they scored seven points each, and that means they are equal on 20 all as we head for our first break tonight. Your first word mix is... Core item. The clue, fast and flashy rise. See you after this. <laughs> 